many in our world today make science their God, but then turn a blind eye when it comes to the scientific reality behind when life begins. For this week's Pro-Life Focus, we introduce you to a group striving to change that. Based on how so many influential people answer the question today, you might think when human life begins Abortion. is some unsolved mystery. At what point does a baby get human rights in your view? Answering that question with specificity uh, you know, is, is uh, above my pay grade. If you can hear the heartbeat of this thing, this fetus, what is it? Is it just a piece of tissue or is it a separate human being? I think that's up to each individual to decide what they believe. When a human being begins to exist is not a mystery or a scientific theory or a subjective, political, religious, or personal matter. It is an objective, empirical, and contemporary scientific fact of the biological science of human embryology. Business professional Brooke Stanton was frustrated with science denial when it came to the human life issue. So she, along with co-founder Christiane West, launched Contend Projects, a secular, nonpartisan science education nonprofit. We are working to make the basic science about when a human being begins to exist simple and accessible for everyone. These women think everyone should know this basic scientific fact. A new human being, a new whole individual living human being begins to exist at the beginning of the process of fertilization, at first contact between the sperm and the oocyte. When these two mere cells make first contact, immediately, specifically, human enzymes and proteins, whole human organism enzymes and proteins, not sperm and oocyte enzymes and proteins, are produced. And a new single cell human being with his or her own new unique DNA immediately begins to exist. As it turns out, the start of human life has been well documented over 100 years and in 1942 instituted as a scientific fact by a secular government agency that's part of the National Institutes of Health. It's come to be known as the Carnegie Stages of Human Embryonic Development. There's an empirical scientific fact that a new single cell human being is an actual human being, not a possible human being or a potential human being. Contend Projects has developed a series of tools to introduce this scientific fact into the mainstream. One way is through their website, contendprojects.org, which is filled with videos and information. It also has a free science quiz, so you can gauge how much you know about human embryology. And you don't have to be an expert to give it a try, as yours truly can clearly demonstrate. First contact is when the sperm cell I'm going to learn how to pronounce that. Oocyte. Oocyte cell together are transformed into a new human being, human organism. I'm going to guess yes. Okay. All right. How many periods of human development occur before a human being is born? I'm just going to press, and this is probably, might be embarrassing. I'm saying one. It's okay. Oops. Oops. <laughs> two. I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. There are two periods of human development before birth, the embryonic period and the fetal period. Okay. I can know science. There you go. Exactly. Everybody should. See? Content Projects also places a major emphasis on school outreach. A lot of the misinformation is now targeting schools, and people spreading misinformation are in our schools, they're in the Girl Scouts, and we need to be there as well. The science nonprofit developed a 60 minute human embryology lesson geared towards students in 7th through 10th grade. It's really critical because when you look at uh, chemistry class. Every chemistry class has the periodic table. No high school student graduates without knowing that H2O is water. But they can graduate without knowing that they begin as a single cell human being at the beginning of the process of fertilization. And for the younger minds, Content Projects has created a book for grades three through six. And this book is called, You Used to Be Much Smaller, But You Were Still You. If you can talk, if you can walk, if you can dance, or even if you aren't born yet, you are a human being. 
It talks to kids about how if you are a human fetus, you're a human being. If you're a human embryo, you're a human being. Just as much as a toddler is a human being, just as much as an elderly person is a human being. From the classroom to the courtroom, Contend Projects wants to give our world a science lesson on the most important cause. The science exists and we really just need to start using the science as the starting point because as you know a small error in the beginning leads to a multitude of errors in the end. Yeah.